All right, well, I went through about a third of this five gallon bucket. I had a bunch of black sand from a coastal uh, claim that I have, and I think I'm finally starting to get the hang of this where to dig and whatnot. Now I, I panned out, sorry, I, uh, I ran that through this sluice and I have a bit of a modified uh, bottom section here. I took the the standard carpet that came with it out. It was just wasn't working for me. Uh, I just put this. This is just standard rubber matting. I like the back side. It's just more sticky there. And uh, and then I put this. This is just some of that no stick shelving uh, stuff. So I put that on top of it. I layer that, and then I clamp that down. So basically I've got the standard ribbing that comes in it uh, followed by the rest of it being like that. And, and the little flakes I believe are getting trapped mostly down here because I haven't seen them up here which is kind of odd. Uh, I, I've been experimenting with the speed of the flow and whatnot but I'm not seeing the flakes sitting in here too much. Uh, so I believe they're being trapped down here which kind of goes against what a lot of videos are saying that you know the gold gets trapped up here uh, almost all the time so anyway it's interesting and I'll show you what I got and like I say this is just about one third of a five gallon bucket I'll put it under the magnifying glass first without you can see there's a fleck there's a fleck and there's probably close to a dozen flakes there so I'm going to put it under the magnifying glass and you can see a lot better so there's some flecks all up around that side and then there's a pretty good concentration of uh, small flecks there so I'm going to put those in my uh, little vial uh, that one there's pretty good actually that that one up against the edge there. there's nothing wrong with that so um, the way I like to do it I know you can do it with a snuffer bottle real easy but I'm still finding that I can't get all these small flakes out of the snuffer bottle. So what I do is uh, I take my little vial, which is here. I've got, got a pretty decent uh, collection going in there so far. Um, and I just unscrew the tap. See if I can do this while we're, while we're on here. I just unscrew the tap. I'm going to sit it down carefully. And then what I do is find the gold flake that I want and just wet my finger. And then get the flake. So there I picked up the flake. And I'll show you that on the, the camera here. Try anyway. Anyway, maybe it's better without. Let's see here. You have to take my word for it. The flake is on my finger near a cut. And then I just take this, put my finger right over top so that the flake is in there. Just like this, give it a shake. And that flake. and get it wet. The flake is now gone off my finger because it's gold, it's heavier, and it has fallen to the bottom. So you just need to make sure that it doesn't run down the side of your finger. Sometimes you'll see a flake laying down downside your finger. I'm going to get that one along with a few others here. And there I've got, uh, let's see if I can get that in focus. Got three different flex again I'll put them right over the jar shake that around a little bit and they're gone so they're in there I think when you're dealing with a lot of small flex like this that is probably the best way to go so I'm gonna do that to the rest of these put them in my jar 
And uh, that was pretty successful. That was, I don't know, probably took me 20 minutes to run that through the sluice and then another five minutes to uh, pan out the uh, concentrated material. So, uh, and that was just two little test holes I dug uh, in my coastal claim. So, anyway, that's it for now. Um, check out uh, sluiceboxgold.com for some more videos that I have. And uh, I'm going to be keeping my blog going up there, and uh, we've got links to all kinds of stuff. So, anyway, that's it. Have a good one.